Ooh, number 33. So we have an angle right here, and it gives us one half when we plug in the cosine. Where on the unit circle do we get one half for cosine? That's a positive one half. Where is cosine positive? First quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Very nice. That's where the x's are positive, so that's where cosine is positive. Where do we have a one half for the x on both of these? And when I say where, I want the freaking angle. What is the angle? What? It is? Or did you say 60 degrees? <laughs> I would snap your pinky finger off or something. No? Don't lose the degrees. You are right there, it was 60 degrees. Pi over 3, that's very nice. Pi over 3, that's pi over 3. And what is this one? All the way around, what is that? 7 pi over 3. Oh, you guys know the unit circle. My precious. We have x equals, 2x equals, pi over 3. And then 2x equals also has to give me 7 pi over 3. That's what will give us one half right here. Since it says all solutions, we must take into consideration the period. What is the period of cosine? It is 2 pi. Oh, snap, it's not 7 pi over 3. Who, who told me that? Yeah, it's 5 pi over 3. Man, you're an idiot. You wrote it. Not 7 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. And I have to add the 2 pi n to the other side. What does that do? It takes us around the unit circle a full 2 pi or 360 degrees to bring us back to the point. But we did not get x alone yet. We must divide by 2 or multiply by 1 half to both sides. And then you get your answer. Pi over 6 plus. What's 1 half times 2? Oh no. There's one answer. And then the other one, I multiply this one by 1 half just like I did before. And then look at your answers. Oh, so pretty. You understand? Very good.